lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon, and in an incredibly late fashion. Yeah, sorry I haven't been uploading videos very often these days, I just haven't felt motivated. But I am pushing myself to get these two reviews up today. If you're here just for the review of episode 18, feel free to skip ahead. So, episode 17, Once Upon a Townsville, was an interesting episode that I have mixed feelings about. On the one hand, I think it was certainly funnier and better written than episode 16, but I do think they squander the message of this episode. We'll get to that in a moment. First, I want to talk about what this episode did right, and that was the gags and jokes. Even the singing was fun, for a little while. Some of the best moments, though, as another fan said elsewhere, were in the first half of this episode. Like Buttercup poking what she believed to be a dead woman's breast. Oh, a dead body! I guess we know what clouds are really made of. Or her thinking the princess was a zombie. I've been kissed by a zombie! When I start to turn, you know what to do. Then of course, there's also this creepy lizard guy. And Blossom doesn't want an iguana doing her hair. Kiss me! I'm a prince, I swear! Ooh. All of that, and a few extra moments I won't discuss, made parts of this really enjoyable to watch. So if you were looking for a more fun episode, then look no further than this one. But of course, not everything was perfect. I do think the, th the singing went on too long and became pretty annoying, especially the incredibly unnecessary rapping done by the Powerpuff Girls. Am I missing the part where young girls are fans of rapping? Perhaps I'm not plugged into what the kids like these days. I'm not against rapping, as I was quite the fan of Fort Minor growing up. But the scene was really painful on the ears. These girls are definitely not rappers, nor should they ever be. Plus, the disconnect between what is or is not Powerpuff Girls is huge here. This whole scene felt ripped from a completely different show. And we'll get to see more moments like that in the upcoming Teen Titans Go! crossover. Another moment I'd like to take some time to criticize was Buttercup being kissed by Bluebell. My prince? <sighs> Not because, ew, lesbians, but simply because of the age difference between the two characters. I'm aware it's being played for laughs here, but if you flipped the gingers around or even made one of them male, I imagine there would be more outrage online. It's not the biggest flaw this episode had, but just something I didn't like and felt I should point out. Personally, I think the biggest flaw was the message. Yes, I do believe that girls should be able to do whatever their young hearts desire, but I felt that they should have added in something else along with the message that they did include. Instead of saying that you don't need to be saved, I think they also should have said that there's nothing wrong or inherently wrong with needing help from time to time. The problem with the princess was that she wanted to be the damsel in distress all the time. She learned that she was capable of taking care of herself by the episode's end, but there is a danger in not realizing when to ask for help. So yes, you ladies, you are fully capable of handling things. Just don't be afraid to ask for help. It's not lowering yourself to a damsel in distress role. It's called being human. And now we move our attention to episode 18, the dreaded Man Up 2, Steel Manny. As much as I wasn't looking forward to another episode featuring this show's attempt at a character meant to be a sexist caricature, this wasn't a bad episode. In fact, Manboy is easily the highlight of this episode. He's such an over-the-top and fun villain that you can't help but smile whenever he says or does anything. If this episode sold me on anything, it would be a spin-off solely starring Manboy and his misadventures in Manning. How freaking sick would that be? Of course, the stars of the show get some quality time here too. Buttercup spends much of the episode going after some rare bottle cap. Fallout reference? which is something I'd never figured her for, and the other two get captured, I guess? They all get some funny moments, ranging from okay to decent. Mostly it's the facial expressions. I didn't know this was Adventure Time. We also get to see Manboy step up and have his own gang, but he goes one step further and he recruits several gangs, really. There's his Hogs on Hogs, a joke that would probably be more funny if I was a kid or even gave a crap. Then there was some group of living wood meant to be a pun on lumberjacks or something. It's basically the same joke as the hogs. And then there's the best one. The British guys. 
And some British guys. Uh, why did I hire them? We are an economic power. Oh, yeah. Uh. The only negative thing about this episode was probably how Buttercup suddenly couldn't catch up to some souped-up tractor. How very convenient for the plot she was not able to do so. And that's all from me. What did you think of these two episodes? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you soon for more Cartoon Hangout. I hope. Take care.